Hi, my name is Amy Schwarzer. Um, I'm an assistant research scientist with the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute. Um, so the project that I'm working on um, is a project working with the Worthington's Marsh Wren and the McGillivray Seaside Sparrow. Um, both of these subspecies occur in Northeast Florida. Uh, primarily this study is in uh, Nassau and Duval counties. Uh, originally, we surveyed as far south as Flagler County, but we found that uh, there were no marsh wrens or seaside sparrows south of the St. Johns River. The last surveys were done over 10 years ago. We surveyed throughout their historical range to see where they are now. And then based on that, we selected uh, particular areas that had different densities of birds. So either a lot of birds or a few birds and then placed uh, our productivity plots within that where we uh, search for and found nests and we monitor those nests and we look at uh, fledgling survival as well. So you can see there's just the little transmitter just sits right there on his back. There's a little antenna that comes down here and that's how we track these guys. So we're just gonna do a few measurements with them and then we're gonna let them go. Uh, so as, as I said before, both species rely heavily and exclusively on salt marsh. So um, in Florida, they only nest in salt marsh. Um, seaside sparrows throughout their range only nest in salt marsh, as their name implies, seaside. They, they are residents here. They live here year round. Um, around March or April, they'll start setting up territories and uh, they will just start calling to mates, pairing up, and then nest building. So marsh wrens build up kind of fairly high in the grass and they create a series of nest balls and it's, it's the male who does all the building. He actually will go ahead and build several nests, you know, and it's a way of deterring predation on the nest. The sparrows on the other hand build open cup nests kind of down low in the vegetation and just above where the high tide line is. So they, they don't want to be flooded, but they're just above that, that flood zone. 